The reverse boycott BIP, a success in so many senses, and if a message was intended, it was definitely sent. Let's be clear, the message not sent to Las Vegas or Nevada, it has nothing to do with that. This was sent to the baseball community, this was sent to Major League Baseball, and even James Caprillion recognizing that's Oakland right there. That, that's town biz. That's, what, that's how we call it, town biz. And let, let me just say this, the Oakland A's fans are loyal to the soil. And as, as we saw last night, they came out, they were excited, they were loud, they were boisterous, they got a chance to, to get out the emotion that they've been holding in for so long. And I tell you, Brody, you know why I've been wearing black the entire time I've been here on the schedule? I think I know. It's because I've just been in mourning. And I'm going to get mine out of the way right now. And I knew this day was coming. So yeah. I wanted to wear my black so that I could mourn and move on and keep a cool head. Because when you have no control over things and you worry about them, they have a tendency to hurt you inside. And I'm not going to let this hurt me. I want to be clear, this is not the ultimate uh, relocation news, um, but it is a pivotal step, a defining step in this process. I just want to share something. Uh, today, just in San Ramon with my son, here we go. Uh, saw I, knew, kids, I knew this was coming. I saw a kid wearing an A's hat. Mm -hmm. And uh, to think that in 10 years, you won't be seeing that uh, around here. It's tough to, sw tough to swallow. It's, uh, it's something becoming extinct. It's been around here all my life, most of your life, and you won't see it. That'll be, be like an Expos hat. You know, the A's hat around here will be like an Expos hat. And um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, to be honest with you. You know, you, you are a human being, Brody, and it's natural to have a feeling like we just lost a family member. Yeah. And, and it really is just like that. And you know, a lot of us around here, we are born in the 60s. We were here before the A's got here. And when the A's came, it became a dream of ours. And some of us were able to live that dream out. And we were able to go to the games with our fathers, with our grandfathers and our families. And so the feeling that I see coming from you right now, I know it's because you won't be able to experience that with Max. And, yeah. and, and that's a tough one to have to bear. But it's not your fault. I know. It's not your fault either. It's not any of our faults. But uh, it's what we're set to deal with. So. We'll take a break. More baseball in this show after this. We'll be right back.